Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill drag daily challenge using Python programming language. First, we will understand our question. We have to accept the R cross E matrix from the user and sort the columns in ascending order based upon the largest integer. We have also given a note that if more than one column has same largest integer, then it must be sorted in their order of occurrence. Quite simple, right? Now this program can be done using Python functions and we have just three steps. The step one is We have to take the transpose of the matrix so that the sorting of the columns becomes easy. So we'll take the take transpose of the original matrix. Now step two, we will sort this original matrix so that the rows becomes columns and it becomes easy for sorting. So we have to sort the matrix based upon the maximum integer. Now we have sorted the rows in the matrix based upon the maximum integer. Then step three, we have to again take the transpose of this sorted matrix so that there will be no confusions between the integers in the matrix. So step three, we are going to again take transpose of the sorted transpose matrix. Now we have got the, we have sorted the matrix based on maximum integer and we again taking the transpose so that we will get the original matrix with sorted columns. Now let us consider with an example that we have the number of rows and columns is 3 and 3. So the matrix would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. The first step is to take the transpose of the original matrix. So 1, 4, 7, 2, 5, 8, and 3, 6, 9. Now, step 2 is to sort, to sort the matrix based upon the maximum integer in every row. So, here the maximum integer is 7, here it is 8, and here it is 9. So, this matrix is already sorted, so we'll print as it is. So 1, 4, 7, 2, 5, 8, then 3, 6, 9. Now, step 3, we will again take the transpose of the matrix so that it will become the original matrix of sorted columns. Yeah. This program is quite simple. We have used some Python functions so that uh, the beginners can understand. Uh, for the step one, for the taking transpose, we are going to use a function called zip function. Then for sorting, we are going to use the function sorted of intervals, comma, the key. The key is used to sort the matrix based on the maximum integer. Once for step 3, we will again use the zip function to take the transpose. Now we will learn the importance of zip function. The zip function will know why we have used zip function and what is it. Zip function is an inbuilt function. to take the transpose of a matrix. In our program, we have 
use this step to take the transpose of the matrix now the second step second thing we are going to learn is the arguments in the zip function the list of list that is the matrix of list the matrix then we'll have the multiple list then the third one is the return type the return type of the zip would be the list of tuples technically the iterators of tuple now let us consider an example now let us consider an example where we have this two lists now when we use the zip function it will produce the list of tuples where we have 210 320 20, and 530 with number of rows and columns as 2 and 3 this is the list of tuples sorry it is 20 and 5 comma 30 now we'll have a quick overview of our zip function so zip is an input function which take the transpose of the matrix the arguments are the list of list and the multiple list and the return type is the list of tuples that is the iterators of tuple so when we pass this two list it will produce the list of tuples like 2 10 and 3 and 20 and then 5 and 30 now we are going to pass the multiple list as our arguments yeah so multiple list as our arguments so we are giving x and y the two lists and we are using the zip function zip equal to zip of x comma y <coughs> so we have here we have used this asterisk so that it will unpack the elements and will print this is our, our output now if we don't use the asterisk we'll get this output so then our next case where we are going to pass the list of lists that is the matrix as our arguments so the matrix we have given with the r come r cross c that is 2 and 3 we have two rows and three columns then we have used the zip function zip equal to zip of the asterisk matrix then we have print then we have print the zip so we have got the output where we have 1 and 4 2 and 5 and 3 and 6 now our original matrix is 1 2 3 4 5 6 our output will be like 1 4 2 5 and 3 6 so if you guys want to know more about the zip function go through the python documentation which is given in the description if you didn't subscribe to our channel then do it right now to learn and crack daily challenge every day and make our work more meaningful let us implement our program first we'll get our inputs r comma c using the map function then our matrix using the list comprehension and then we have to get the transpose of our matrix so we use the zip function transpose equal to zip of asterisk matrix which unpack the list of the list now we have to sort this transpose sorted transpose equal to sorted transpose comma key equal to max we specify our condition that we have to get the maximum integer in every column then now we'll get our final matrix by again transposing it final matrix 
equal to zip of asterisk sorted transpose so we have got the transpose of this sorted transpose so that we will get the original matrix with sorted columns now we will use a for loop for row in final matrix print asterisk row now this asterisk will unpack the list in the list now we will execute our program we will run our first test case where we can clearly see that our output contains the elements sorted in the first column we can see that 4 is the highest integer and here we can see 6 is the highest integer here it is 4 here it is 8 and here it is 9 now we will check for our next test case where we have got the output with sorted columns here it is highest is 12 here it is 15 here it is 16 and here also 16 and uh, here it is 17 then here it is 18 then here it is 20 finding zip function very useful yeah that's the power of python it has made our work more easier to find the transpose hope you guys understand thanks for watching see you next video